my parents should be proud that I'm not some heroin addict or some some alcoholic lying on the street begging for money. At least I'm addicted to, to stuff like this, you know? Mm. They say you are what you eat, so I'm Indomie Goreng. Indonesian noodles, Indomie Goreng, one of the greatest inventions of the world, instant ramen with Indonesian flavoring. Every Indonesian kid knows this. Uh, my parents are from Indonesia, so I have to pay homage to this amazing, incredible noodle. It's, it tastes really good. You know how instant ramen is usually in a soup? This is sort of fried, you know? Goreng means fried in Indonesian. The average Indonesian kid eats two before he goes to school. I'll eat four today, because it's because I love it. Grew up eating it. Four of these packs. The most underestimated tool, scissors. Because you have to cut open a lot of packaging. I always do it very effectively. I take out all the seasoning packets. Fried garlic is going to go separate because I want that to stay crunchy. Let's see. Everyone loves this shit because there's so much MSG in it. And as a, as a kid, you don't really know the, the benefits and the, <laughs> the drawbacks of MSG. So you just eat this stuff and your parents think, oh, it's a quick solution, I don't have to cook. Let him eat it, Howard. Howard, it's okay. the phone! Bumu means seasoning powder in Indonesian. This stuff, man. This stuff is crack. As a kid, you don't know how harmful MSG t is to you. You could, you could use this as currency. This is the spicy version. You can buy the one that's not spicy, but I like it nice and spicy. Okay, cut all at once. There we go. Now, all the powdered seasoning in the bottom. This is a lot of seasoning, man. It's a lot of MSG and other good stuff. You taste it by itself. Ooh. See, everything in my brain right now is going, ooh, I'm so happy. Take your four packs of noodles and just add them into the boiling water. Let's just set this on a little higher. And you can eat this perfectly raw as well. You can't really give a time on this. It's just when the noodles start to get soft, it's pretty much done. And what's in this secret seasoning? This is sweet soy sauce. It's basically like caramelized sugary soy sauce which tastes super sweet. And this is chili oil. You can see chili powder inside the pack. There's chili powder in here. With, mixed with oil. Delicious. Now you just have to wait till the noodles are finished boiling. It's a love relationship, man. Instant ramen has a special place in my heart. Okay, the noodles look pretty much done. I am going to drain these. There we go. Induction is smart. It just stopped cooking because it realized there's no pot on the heat. There we go. Noodles are draining off. And the meanwhile, while we're assembling all this, I'm gonna fry a couple of eggs. Also very traditional with Indonesian mi goreng. You would usually eat baso, which are uh, Indonesian beef balls, with this. But they're really hard to get here in Germany, so I'm gonna fry an egg or two. Little oil at the bottom. And now we combine the noodles with the seasoning. Now the most important tool when handling noodles, chopsticks. Coat every strand of noodle with the seasoning. Okay, chili oil, soy sauce, uh, sweet soy sauce, yeah? And I think they're really stingy when they give these because 
There's so little sweet soy sauce. That's why I bought a whole pack of sweet soy sauce. Yeah. Last but not least, fried onions. I bet every Indonesian student that's not in Indonesia right now is having a hard on. Look at this. Look at it. Look how much I have. Fried egg on top. Okay, I'm ready to eat this bad boy. Take a photo, snapshot right now. Hashtag foodie, hashtag tasty, hashtag yum, hashtag world peace. Perfect. Okay, time to devour four packs of Indonesian noodles. Mmm. Damn. I haven't had one of these in a long time. That's it. That's all you need in life. You know when people go to nightclubs and stuff like that in Indonesia? They come and they drive with their Lamborghini next to stalls that sell this and they sell it for 5,000 rupees, roughly 40 cents. And they prepare it for you like this with egg and everything. You don't have to do anything, they'll do it for you. This is the perfect food for any occasion actually. You know, when you come home after a night of drinking and partying, man, this is quick to make and this is delicious. I, I used to do that, you know? Actually, this is the perfect food for any occasion. I tell you something, if I'm getting married, I will serve everyone a bowl of this. It will go down as the greatest wedding in the world because the catering was amazing. All you need is some scissors and a pot of water. I used to bring this to school as well. Well, my, my mom was too lazy to cook. She would just put this into a container and just, here Ben, here's your lunch for school today. And everyone at school would go like, oh my god, what does he have, you know? What is that he has in his lunchbox? And I would pull out these noodles and everyone would, oh man, you wanna, you wanna swap? You wanna, you wanna swap with my, what I have? Yeah? Yeah, deal. Hmm. You know, slurping our noodles was not allowed in our house. And then I went to Japan with my mom, and she saw everyone like slurping their noodle. And she would look around and go like, oh my god, what's going on? Why is everyone slurping? After that, I was allowed to slurp in her house. Okay, at this point, I'm force feeding. Did you know eggs are just chicken periods? Okay, I'm full. I can't do it. Sorry to let you down. I literally can't stand up and move. Yeah, mom always says two packs is too much and she's kind of right. Sorry, mom. Forgive me. Oh well. I can't, I can't possibly eat all of this. Shit. Three packs would have been enough. And uh, don't forget to tune in next week. Check out the other videos on the show, man. Yeah. I've got 100 videos. Go check them out. Uh, I cook a lot of fun stuff. So guys, thanks for watching. Tune in for next week's show. And if not, I'm going to eat you. Yeah.